Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. Very occasionally in Jewish intellectual history, there emerges a figure who is totally remarkable, really unique in their generation, and such a figure was Rabbi Adin Steinsaltz, who was born in Mandate Palestine in 1937 and died just a few months ago. Now last week we looked at the standard traditional edition of the Talmud, known as the Vilna Shas. Rabbi Steinsaltz's most famous achievement was to produce this volume, which is the first of many volumes, which are a new version, a new edition of the Babylonian Talmud, with his own contribution to its uh, explication and understanding. Let me say something first about Rabbi Steinsaltz, and then we'll talk about his edition of the Talmud. He came from a Hasidic dynasty. He's a descendant of the Slonim Rebbe, one of the great Hasidic Rebbers of the previous century. But his own father and his own parents were themselves communists. They were secular atheist communists. They had in fact fought in the Spanish Civil War in the 1930s and then returned to the land of Israel to mandate Palestine. There, the young Adin was born into this secular environment and he pursued himself a uh, rigorous academic scientific career and education, but he was also very drawn towards traditional Judaism, and not of the strictly rationalist type, but in fact towards Hasidut. He became a Hasid, a follower of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, and a great expert in Kabbalah in our mystical traditions at a very early age. In fact, there's a book written many years ago called Nine and a Half Mystics, which talks about the young Adin Steinsaltz and his work discussing and teaching and describing the Kabbalah. In 1965, he dedicated himself to producing a new edition of the Talmud. It was published over many years and won him the Israel Prize in 1988. It was first published in modern Hebrew and subsequently translated into many languages, including English. Let me tell you what Rabbi Sanzaltz does to the page of Talmud. In the middle, as in the Vilna Shas, is still the uh, Mishnah and the Gemara, but this time they are uh, pointed and punctuated. All of the vowels and all of the commas and full stops are all inserted so that the reader knows exactly what's going on in what can be otherwise a very confusing text. On the inside is still Rashi. Rashi's classic commentary from the 11th century is still present on the inside of the page. And underneath are Tosafot, his grandchildren and their contemporaries who compare the text in front of them to other texts around the Talmud. All that remains from the Vilna Shas edition of the Talmud. But here, on the outside of the page, displacing Tosafot, is Rabbi Steinsatz's own commentary. And he does two things. First, he translates every Aramaic phrase into modern Hebrew, so the modern Hebrew speaker can follow the uh, discussion and the debate. And he also adds explanations of anything which is unclear. So it's a combination of both commentary and translation. Now, this commentary has been enormously helpful, enormously useful for many, many people studying Talmud these days, both in Israel and outside Israel, but of course it had its critics. Every truly great intellectual figure in our tradition has had its critics, whether it's been Rashi or Rambam or anybody else, and uh, so to Rabbi Steinsaltz. On the one hand, academics felt that his approach to Talmud was too traditional, whereas traditionists felt that it was heresy, or at least it was sacrilege, to overturn the page of the Vilna Shas and to insert his commentary where that of the great Tosafis had once been on the page. But the value of the work was so tremendous and the reception was so warm that he enjoyed these criticisms and now there are very few rabbinic institutions or libraries which don't have a copy of uh, Steinsatz's Gemara, his Talmud, with his commentary. And it's an extraordinary testament to decades and decades of work which has really transformed the ability of many people to learn and to benefit from the study of Talmud. Thanks for joining.